Okay, I've got a demonstration on my Acorn communicator. It's quite a rare machine, and this one's absolutely pristine. It's out of its box for the pretty much the first time. It's never been used, so um, I'm a bit, bit uh, cautious trying to use it, to be honest. Um, anyway, it fires up quite nicely, and it basically gives you a start screen, which uh, has got uh, various applications you can use. Um, everything's accessed. There's some some keys that let you do quick. Um, application so uh, there's a calculator if I press the calculator um, I get a basic calculator um, it's also multitasking so you can actually go back to the um, I hit stop link yep it'll go back to the menu and you can see that the calculator is still active but I can go to some other application and use something else so I can use views for instance type Whatever. And I can also flip back to the main screen. This was obviously designed to be a kind of universal business machine that could do everything. Um, they didn't really take off that much. Um, it's quite a rare machine, and I've not seen that many of them to be honest. Um, so anyway, this this thing has a terminal built in, and um, it can dial phone numbers for you. And it can also dial various uh, terminal types, including view data. So that's what we're going to do today. So uh, I'm basically just going to go into the phone menu. And it's quite interesting. It's actually got some kind of uh, ROM type kind of flash memory uh, because I've entered these and there's no storage on the, on the actual device. But it's remembered these entries um, from before and it's been turned off so I don't know exactly where it stores those um, inside itself but uh, it's obviously not battery backs because the thing would have been dead by now um, so anyway I've put an entry for my bulletin board so I'm gonna hit that one oh sorry it's F4 so we select it and hit F4 and it should dial you can see it selected the number and you can see on the light here, it's pulse dialing. You can just about hear it as well. So it's dialing the number. It's connected. So we should get a view data prompt in a minute. Here we go. As you can see. That's all working quite well. So I've got some uh, example pages here, which are just teletext pages. They kind of give you the idea of how slow view, view data is. These are quite old, they're from CNN and various other teletext pages. We can go back to the main menu. So this is the menu system I've written. Um, there's not much on it at the moment, but uh, you can go to an external bulletin board. So if I hit 5, it takes me to an external bulletin board. This is a Telnet connected bulletin board called CCL4 um, and I can log into here So this is running at exact speed that the original system would have run at. Okay. 
can see that was the uh, initial screen. It's a uh, this bulletin board is quite random. It's got some quite very odd stuff on it, which I think was kind of. So you can see just how fast it goes. So I can type a command here if I can find the star key. Star. No. So down the bottom I'm typing a star command. Which takes me to the exit screen. I don't want to log off so I'm going to hit the uh, hash key. So this is the exit of their bulletin board. And this should bring me back into mine. And it drops the tarmac connection. There we are. Log off. And that's it. So that's pretty much it for my Acorn Communicator connecting to view data.